Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Yusuf Scott and I want to thank all of you near and far for being here with me today taking part in this video, alright? If you're watching this video, I want to thank you, alright? Those of you who have subscribed to this channel, I want to thank all of you for doing so. Your support is definitely appreciated. For those of you who are loyal to watch my videos, um, you know, I, I, I thank all of you, even those of you who have just found this channel. The only thing I ask is that if you're going to be here watching the video, please subscribe to this channel. All right, I want you guys to subscribe to this channel. You're here looking for information on Forex, how to trade better, how to be successful. And I believe and I know based on what my students tell me, based on what I know, based on my confidence level, based on the Forex market, how I evaluate the market, analyze the market daily, I know that I can provide and I provide very invaluable content I deliver to the public for free all around the world. So I want you guys to subscribe to the channel so you can get the free information all the time, all right? Now, let me tell you, uh, this video today is gonna be about the election that's taking place tomorrow around the country, all right? Ar around the United States, the United States will be electing the next president, all right? So uh, I want to let you guys know what I had conveyed to my students today during the currency, currency pair analysis training, all right? Now, what I let them know is that if you're trading on the market, all right, if you have any trades open, all right, be careful if you're trading, all right? If you can help it, close out your trades. Just close them out and be happy that you did, all right? Now, I'm going to explain exactly why, and it, for most of you, it's probably common sense, but let me tell you something. The market is, we're, we're, we're facing a major... Uh, you know, if you guys have been following the U.S. election, you know, the uh, debates and all that stuff, you know that it's more or less like a, uh, it's, you know, it's, it's more like soap opera or whatever. It's just a whole bunch of stuff going on and you're like, every day is something new that you're like, what? Are you kidding me? So with that, there's a lot of speculation. There's a lot of anticipation about what's going on with the market and what's going to happen with, uh, with the market once the once the next president is elected all right so with that treat this election the next couple of days like treat it just like a catastrophic news event all right be careful all right the only difference between a catastrophic news event is that this one you you have preparedness you have preparation you can prepare for this okay so if you if you know what I know, if you, if you, not so much even, well, if you know what I know, protect yourself. If you have any open trades, shut them down. Do not be greedy thinking that, hey, if I leave it open, keyword if, if you leave it open, you could just get more money. Yes, that is true. But you could leave it open and it could turn against you, knock you right out of the market, and you're done, wiped out. So be smart about this, all right? Do not treat this like it's 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 a, it's a casino. Unfortunately, a lot of people they do that. They're just gambling. They they really don't know how to trade the market. They're just gambling, hoping that they can just get it right this time. Don't do it. All right. I have I have instructed my students to if you're in the market, take your money, and just be happy that you did. All right. Or take your little loss, whatever it is. Be happy that you did. Do not subject yourself to further, um, you know, risk. You know, the the brokers they're 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 wide widening their their margin. So you have to know that you have to be careful. Okay, everyone is 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 bracing for, you know, for what could happen. All right, no one's certain about what's going to happen. No one knows who's going to win the president. Uh, you know. Um, who's going to become the next president of the United States? No one knows that. So we prepare. All right, people are speculating. <clears throat> people are speculating. I am too. But if you speculate, why don't you just be sure to protect yourself? And that's what I'm telling you. Protect yourself from all of, all across the world. If you're trading, if you're watching this, if you're under the sound of my voice right now, if you have any open trades, do what's best. Shut them down. All right. Be careful. All right. If you can help it, you know, some of you might be deep into profit. Some of you might, you know, but sometimes it's best to just shut them down. All right. Now, listen, 
the if you're in on a USD pair, definitely, you definitely want to shut yours down. You want to be want to be careful. All right. Now, something that I want to point out, something that we went over, that we gone over today, that we went over today in our um, currency pair analysis training, as we always do, we went over the charts. And one thing I want you guys to know is that each and every pair, every single pair, from fr Friday's close to Sunday's close, there well, Friday's close to Sunday's open, there was a gap in the market every single pair I have never seen that before not that I recall alright now the election is something big you know but I want to let you guys know I've done back testing and I want to show you something let me show you let's go to the charts now we're gonna start with the AUD CAD if you notice this was Friday this was uh, Sunday market closed here the market open here a gap all right to show you each pair gap all right gap 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 all right the market closed here it opened here gap in the market gap in the market Gap in the market. Gap in the market. Gap in the market. Gap in the market. Gap. Small gap. Gap. Uh, gap. 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 Uh, gap, 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 gap. As you guys see, every market gap, every single market gap, every currency pair has gap. Let's zoom in just in case you guys cannot see this. All right, close here open here gap 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 and finally gap uh, let's see, this one might be, this one actually did not gap. This one actually did not gap. That one did not gap. Mm, this one very, very small. And this one it didn't. So the last three did not. All right, and I normally do not even do a currency pair analysis on this, but notably, these three did not gap. Now, let's do this. When we look at, let's look at the Euro USD. Now I'm gonna look at that one because that one is the most liquid out of all of them, and a lot of people trade this because it can be pushed around. All right. Now the let's let's check this out. I believe the let's see the last election was I believe on the sixth. It was on the sixth of November. Let's go back and look at the sixth of November two thousand twelve. That's the 6th of November. Uh oh. That's the 6th of November. No gap at all. 
Nothing. Now, there was a small gap from Sunday, from Friday to Saturday, again, all right? But nothing like what was found this year, 2008, November 4th. This is the fourth That's the second thirty first oh, there we go let's see thirty first the second third fourth You had a small little, small little gap, but nothing compared to all that we found in the market today. All of the pairs gap. Let's just look at these. Let's look with see what the November sixth had to show us. very small in comparison to what we were looking at so a gap but the gap very small now with that you can only assume or speculating that with every pair gapping a, a sizable gap what could possibly happen when the election results are actually um, you know uh, when it's aired all right when the president is sworn in when when we realize who will be the president, you can expect those few times that it's going to be probably a little bit of uh, volatility, some great volatility. Now, we don't know for certain, but we can only assume. So rather than get yourself caught up in, you know, a, a bad trade, protect yourself. All right, just protect yourself. That's what I would suggest. Protect yourself. That way you are um, secure. You can wait a couple of days until everything sort of blows over, cool down. You go back like it never happened. All right. So um, with that, all of the pairs, significant gap. Um, you know, for the most part. I mean, if you look at the um, U.S. dollar. Mexican peso, that thing gapped a couple hundred pips. Amazing. Somewhere like that. And I know that there is a lot of people who are trading this because a, a lot of people look at the fact that it moves. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great moving pair. But you have to you have to learn it, study it, all right? Gaps like this taking place in the market all across the board. It's just amazing what what's been going on. So take this advice, if you will, and just protect yourself, all right? So I just wanted to give you guys, you know, my little what I plan to do. I have I'm actually trading on the AUD NZD, no, the AUD USD. I'm trading on the AUD USD. I'm shutting that down. I'm I'm done with that. I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna you know assume any type of any further because um, I believe it's actually going it's actually going um, it is dropped today in the current day. It's starting to back up a little bit, but. It didn't even go up any, it just dropped. All right, so it's starting to back up now, but 
Um, so I just wanted to show you guys, like, just take this knowledge, take it for what it's worth. All right. Um, don't gamble your money. If you're in on this trade and you happen to hold it, make sure you watch it. If it goes into money, take your money. Be done with it. All right. Um, and then you know you could trade another day. So this is all for now. I just wanted to let you guys know what's what's what. You guys have a fantastic night. We will chat soon. All right. Peace.